Dear students, in this video, you are going to learn how to quickly identify supply and demand zones in the Forex market. So here we have a diagram. On the left, we have a demand zone. How do we identify a demand zone? So first of all, you need to find a situation where there's a move to the upside. Um, a bullish candle is a blue candle. Blue candle means that the price is going up. Bulls are the buyers in the market. So whenever you see a move that is going to the upside, all you have to do is basically count backwards. This is your first candle. Then you count backwards. Bullish candle, bullish candle, bullish candle. The first candle that changes color, the first candle that changes color, that is going to be the start of your demand zone. So here's what you do in order to quickly identify a demand zone. So on our left, we have a move to the upside. How do we know that the move is going up? Because the candlesticks are going up. Each blue candlestick means that within that time frame, the price is going up. Blue means going up. Blue candles means that the price is bullish. The bulls are the buyers in the market and they push the price up. A demand zone is where the buyers are. Buyers push the price up. Bulls are the buyers. So whenever you see a blue candle, that means the price is going upwards. Now, how do we identify a demand zone? We need to find exactly where the buyers are in the market so that when the price returns to a demand zone, we can place our entries and make profit. Here's how you do it. You identify a move in the market like this one. That's a move in the market. It's a bullish move. Okay. Then you find where the move ends. This is where the move has ended. Then you count the colors. This was a blue candle. That's a blue candle. Another blue candle. Another blue candle. Finally, we get a black candle. This black candle is our demand zone. That is the start of our demand zone. So all you have to do is mark this demand zone into the future. So when the price returns to this level, like so, we can place our entry around this level and make profit this in a nutshell is how to identify a demand zone area but why is it this black candle because this is where the price has shifted so you need to understand that before this black candle even formulated the price moved like this in a downward direction right here okay so whenever this candle was formed it was actually bearish now, how do we know that buyers are at this level? It's because the trend changed. We had the bullish move to the upside. And because this price has actually gone up, it is the evidence that this candle is where the buyers are because the buyers push the price up. Therefore, whenever we have a change in direction, change in the trend, that means that this is our demand zone. So the first color change is your demand zone. Blue candle, blue candle, blue candle, blue candle. The first black candle, you identify it and you draw its area just like that into the future. That's how you identify a demand zone area. Now we're going to proceed to how to identify supply zones. So on the right, we have a supply zone. Supply zone is where the sellers are based. Sellers push the price downwards. Bears are the sellers. How do we know? The price is going downwards because each black candle is going in the downwards direction. So we have a downwards trend. This trend is going in the downwards direction. Therefore, each candle, each black candle is a bearish candle. The bears are the sellers. So every time you see a black candle on your forex chart, that means that the price is going downwards. Each candle represents the price movements within a particular time frame. How do we identify a supply zone? We we'll find the move to the downside and we we'll find the last candle and then we we'll count backwards. This candle is black. The previous candle is black. The previous candle is black. The previous candle is black. Finally, we end up at a blue candle. This first blue candle, the first color change, that is your supply zone. What do we do? We identify this supply zone and draw the area of the supply zone just like that. Why do we do that? We do that so that in the future, when the price returns to this level, we can place our entry 
around this level and make profits. This is what we do in a nutshell. So once again, this is your supply zone. The supply zone is where the sellers are in the market. Sellers push the price down. Bears are the sellers. So each bearish candle that you see, which is going to be in a black color, means that in that time frame, the price was going downwards. However, in order to draw a supply zone, it's going to be the first blue candle before the price shifted in the downwards direction. Let me explain. There was a move to the upside, just like so. And this is the reason why here we have a blue candle. This blue candle was going upwards. Suddenly, there was a change in direction. This change in direction resulted in the price going downwards. This is the evidence that at this level is where the supply zone is. This is the evidence that the sellers are at this level. Before this happened, we have no idea where the sellers are. So the evidence that the sellers are in this level right here is the fact that we had a change in direction. The price was going up. Suddenly the price changed direction in a strong manner, bearish manner. This means that this first candle is where the supply zone is. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how to identify your demand zones and your supply zones. And now I'm going to explain what is the meaning of a demand and supply in the Forex market. In currency trading, what does demand mean? Demand means that if you were trading, let's say US dollar and the price is going up, this means that the demand for the US dollar is increasing. Therefore, the price is going to go upwards. This means that the demand for the currency is strong. That's why the price goes upwards. Okay. Now, in a situation where the supply is strong, this means that there is too much US dollar and people do not want to buy it. Therefore, the supply increases. When supply increases, that means that the value of the US dollar decreases. So when there's too much circulation of a particular item, that means its demand and its value decreases. However, when something is rare, like rare precious diamonds or a rare item, rare luxury car, this means that its demand is going to increase. So it's all about supply and demand. So also, if the economy is doing quite bad, this means that the demand for that currency is going to reduce, which means that the supply is going to increase, which means that the price is going to go down. But if the economy is doing very well, this means that the demand for that currency is going to increase, which is going to result in the price going up. But that's that in a nutshell. So how do we now find demand zones on the actual real Forex chart? Let's get our arrow and let's count. So here we have a move to the downside. Black candle, black candle, black candle, black candle. First blue candle, we identify it. We get our box. We draw it into the future like that. That's our supply zone. Let's continue. Black, 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 blue. That's our supply zone. Strong move to the downside. We'll find where the move ended. Black, 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 black. The first blue candle, that's our supply zone. That's how you find supply zones. Let's look at how we are going to find demand zones. We have a strong move to the upside. We find where the move ended. Blue candle, blue candle, blue candle. First black candle. We've identified it. Now we draw it into the future. So you can see how the price reacted. Came into the zone and then moved up. We have another blue candle, blue candle, black. So there are different variations to how the zones will look. But in a nutshell, the system is, this is how you find them in the Forex market. So the buyers push the price up. And that's the retest we enter around this level. And that's the move to the upside. Strong move to the upside. Blue candle, blue candle, blue candle, blue candle. First black candle. We identify it, get our rectangle at all, draw the box into the future, and we'll wait for the price to reach this level. If price reaches this level, we know that the buyers have already pushed the price up from this level. So this is evidence that there are buyers at this level. Whenever price reaches this level, we will buy from this level and make profit. Once again, we have a strong move to the upside. Blue candle, blue candle, blue candle, blue candle. First black candle. That's our demand zone draw it like that and as you can see there was a reaction 
from this zone to the upside. Here we have a strong move to the downside. Strong move. Where did the move end? Right here. Black candle, black candle, press blue candle. There it is. We joined the zone like so. That's our supply zone. The price came down. Retest. That's our profit. Ladies and gentlemen, dear students, now you know how to identify supply and demand zones in the Forex market. I wish you all the best in your learning. If you have any questions, send me a message. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.